February 10th, 3.36 p.m. District Court, courtroom number 7. Look behind you. Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maya. The pain the Fae bloodline causes must be unbearable. The cat is screaming. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a person. <laughs> I thought that was no, Scott. That was cool. I was like, is he okay? No, that was cool yelling in the background <laughs> I was just trying to power through it but it was too stupid I swear I thought I heard a person saying help <laughs> no she's going like, well, well. I'm petting her now I told okay, you to look behind you her. Shelly's killing someone you couldn't see she's used this excuse twice now I can't believe Larry Butts came and killed Elise Donan <laughs> That is the state of the witness's mind right now. A cup of cafe au lait. Cafe au lait. Is that even legal? I just almost mashed my fucking forehead against my keyboard because I'm so angry. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Trite's words are the milk, and you are the spoon, your honor. <laughs> Big spoon or little spoon? Too big. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Four Pixels. Your pixels are here with guest Binks, and we are continuing Ace Attorney. Trials and Tribulations. That was a nice bit of deduction. Right. Now I'm gonna shoot you with Delay's eyes. <laughs> well, everyone. This is the man Maya saw on the night of the murder. Order, order, order. Prosecutor Godot, what is the meaning of this? Surely you must be shocked to hear yourself accused of such a thing. Why aren't you denying it? Your Honor, you're asking the wrong person. What, what do you mean by that? If you've got a question, ask the witness. That's one of my rules. Well, Maya, how about it? What you saw that night... was three glowing red lights. Or was it three glowing red lights? Well, witness, answer the question. You, you're wrong. Uh, I... I never saw that. <gasps> Maya! I thought the person that stabbed my mother was a man. For a totally different reason. What? Also, was it the guitar strum? <laughs> Stop your chattering, Your Honor. Ch chattering? How rude. <laughs> <laughs> If it's worth asking, ask the witness. That's one of my rules. You're so annoying. Oh my fucking god, go to jail. Do not collect $200. <laughs> uh, Alright. I'm sorry, Banks. He's so annoying. I know. <laughs> I <can't make> him. <laughs> it's good to see you feeling my pain now. Yeah. <laughs> 
it's a shame that he's so hot because he's so he's such suck. If right. You didn't have that going for him, there would be no tolerating him. <laughs> and it's I'm barely tolerating him because half of his face is covered in a fucking robot mask. Well then, let's continue with the testimony. Please tell us how you knew the killer was a man. Y yes, Your Honor. I didn't realize it until after I woke up, but... When I came to, I was just lying there on the training hall floor. By the time I got back to the garden, the place had totally changed. The torches were lit, and the body was gone. And all of the snow around the stone lantern had been carefully cleaned up, too. You know, Maya, why didn't you clean up the lantern that has your name on it? <laughs> <laughs> she can't read. You kidding? She's just like Pearl. <laughs> She's like, that says oh hey uh. <laughs> like, she totally just took it at face value. Since the person did all that work alone, I just assumed it was a man or Hold like on, a I... buff woman like Sakura. <laughs> <laughs> I I just I had the dumbest thought, which was, Maya can only read one thing, and it's the McDonald's fucking menu. <laughs> <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> so it was after the crime took place that the witness came to think the killer was a man. The judge can read the McDonald's and Wendy's menu. Oh, damn, he gets the good chicken nuggets, then. <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm sorry, Your Honor, I... No need to apologize. It's as Mr. Godot said. You're utterly exhausted. It's only natural that you would be a little confused. Also, if you consider the situation you describe, it doesn't seem too much of a stretch to assume the criminal was a man. Mr. Wright, proceed with your cross-examination. When I came to, I was just lying there on the training hall f So you lost consciousness when you were in the garden, is that right? Yes, I think. I think it happened when the victim was stabbed. So then the person that carried you into the inner temple? It could only have been the killer. That's what I think, too. So the killer carried Maya into the inner temple. By the time I got back to the garden, the place had totally changed. Naturally, the killer must have done it, right? Yes, I think so. But why would the killer tamper with the crime scene like that? There must have been something that the killer desperately wanted to hide. I... I don't know. It looks like she doesn't have enough confidence. I think I need to gather some more information before I ask her again. 
The torches were lit, and the body was gone. By the time I got back to the garden, the place had totally changed. When I came to, I was just lying there on the training hall floor. The torches were lit. Yes, that's how I noticed that the whole scene had changed. I'm going to say it was the killer who lit the torches. I mean, who else could it be? The killer probably lit them since it'd be impossible to do any cover-up work in the dark. However, if that's true, there's one thing that still bothers me. Why did the killer go to the effort of moving the body? That's true. It's hard to see how that would be of any advantage to the killer. The only one who would gain anything from that would be... The only person that was at the Inner Temple. Maya. Very well. Let me hear some more about the condition of the crime scene. And all of the snow around the stone lantern had been carefully cleaned up, too. Wait, did we press this one already? No. Okay. So you're saying the killer cleaned up the snow? It did look really odd. The snow was removed and unnaturally... <laughs> the... The snow was removed in an unnatural-looking rectangular shape around the lantern. There were a lot of shovels around the inner temple. But they're all really heavy. Way too heavy for me to use. An odd fellow indeed, this killer. Why on earth would anyone want to take snow away? Well, there's one thing I can think of. Didn't you say that a lot of the victim's blood sprayed onto the snow? Yeah. The area I collapsed in ended up being splattered. In other words, the killer's purpose was to hide the bloody snow. I think that's the most reasonable explanation. Hmm, perhaps. However, there's something that's bothering me. If the killer just wanted to hide the snow with blood on it, there was no need to remove that amount. That's true. He could have scooped up just the snow that was stained with blood. It looks like there are some mysteries behind this issue. Not if you've got a dude with a fucking red glasses problem. Who can't see where the blood is. Who can't see the blood on the lantern to remove it. I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate it. And he can't see. So probably that rectangle area was him with his, like, fucking fucky glasses. God damn it. But I think this will help explain them. Since the person did all that work alone, I just assumed it was a man. So you're saying that you never saw the killer, right? Yes. But early <laughs> but earlier, you very clearly stated that you saw a man behind your attacker. Hmm. 
Nick, I'm sorry. The killer certainly went through a lot of trouble. Moving the body by pendulum, manipulating the crime scene. But for what purpose? Why do all of that? Maybe Maya knows more than she's letting on. Naturally, the killer must have done it, right? Yes, I think so. But why would the killer tamper with the crime scene like that? There must have been something that the killer desperately wanted to hide. I... The truth is, when I saw the crime scene, I felt something. You did. Yes. I felt like the killer was hiding the evidence for me. For my sake. What? Hiding it for you? Everyone knew that I was the only one at the Inner Temple that night. If Sister Bikini had come back and looked at the garden... She may have she may have thought that you had done it. No, she definitely would have thought so. And you're saying that's why the killer cleaned up the crime scene to make it look like nothing had happened. Yes, I'm sure of it. Well, that's certainly an important piece of information. I want you to add that to your testimony. Yes, Your Honor. I think it was for my sake that the killer cleaned up the evidence of what had happened. They did it for your sake. Well, if the body and the blood hadn't been removed... I would have immediately been the prime suspect, right? Yes, I suppose that's true. Yeah. And if that happened, the body would have caused some other problems, too. Even though, like, Maya was literally the prime suspect there for a while. Except for when they couldn't find her. If her real identity had come out right then, it would have been terrible. Master of Karain killed by own daughter. I don't think Maya would have been able to handle it. But still, it's rather difficult to fathom the killer's motive. What reason is there to go through that much trouble to protect you? Did I say this one? Yeah, I think we're good now. Are we? This one's weird because it's like one of the ones where you have to press multiple. I think it's the, the lantern.
the body of Elise Donim was carried all the way to Hazakura Temple's courtyard. Then, at the garden, the real scene of the crime. The snow that we suspected was covered in blood was scooped up and removed. The reason It's reasonable to believe that all of this was done in an attempt to hide the true crime scene. However, there's still one matter that still seems somewhat odd. Oh, and what would that be? You must have figured it out by now, Mr. Godot. It's the message written in blood on the lantern. It was written very clearly on the white stone lantern. Maya. Ah! If the killer was so motivated to protect Maya from suspicion, then why didn't he wipe the writing off the lantern? Ah, uh, you're right. Order, order, order! But Mr. Wright... Isn't it a fact that the killer was trying to cover up the crime scene? Indeed, but it doesn't make much sense to move the body and remove the bloody snow. Then not wipe off the most incriminating thing of all, the bloody writing. you have an explanation for the killer's mysterious behavior? Why would this killer move the body and remove all that snow, but then leave the bloody writing on the lantern? I don't know what the killer's oh, plan God! was. <laughs> oh my god, help me! I guess D killer is going to kill D gumshoe. Hold on. <laughs> Warned. Oh my god. D Killer sent a giant Terraria bee to murder Scott. It's fine. <laughs> anyway. But it's a fact that the killer left the writing on the lantern. There must be a reason for it. Oh boy, is there. Well then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your opinion. Why did the killer leave the message written in blood on the land? <laughs> <laughs> Prosecutor Godot, earlier in this trial, you gave me some good advice. Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. Maybe you're not as dumb as I thought. The real killer wanted to disguise the fact that a crime occurred there. If that's the case... They wouldn't have left the bloody writing on the stone lantern on purpose. Therefore, it must mean that they didn't notice it. But that doesn't make any sense. The torches were all lit and everything. There's no way any normal person would miss something as glaring as that. <laughs> You're right. There is no way any normal person would. What? What are you trying to say, Mr. Wright? There's only one person involved in this incident. 
Who could have missed seeing the bloody writing altogether? And who would that be? Who is the person that could have failed to notice the bloody writing? Mr. Godot. This is what you said yesterday. My eyesight is pretty messed up. Even with these huge goggles on my head, I still can't see everything. You can't see everything? Is that correct, Mr. Godot? This lantern was submitted as evidence today. I would like the court to think back to the moment it was first presented. This lantern... There's something written on it. Why? It's written in blood! <laughs> Nonsense! This lantern... is as clean as a whistle. Mr. Godot, just admit it. There are certain colors you can't see, correct? You can't see red on a white background, can you? That's right. We went through this once before. During the poisoning case at Torres Bien, This is the apron that the delightful Miss Bird was wearing at the time. And somehow spilled coffee on. There's something still bothering me, Mr. Godot. Why have you not explained the bloodstain to the court? Bloodstain? What bloodstain would that be? Don't play games, prosecutor. The blood-colored stain that's smeared all over the apron. That's ridiculous! No one told me anything about a blood stain! Maybe it's because people fucking hate you. <laughs> I think- I think the people he works with at his office must fucking just loathe him. <laughs> Cause they keep doing the same shit to him. Mm -hmm. You can see the coffee on the white apron. But you couldn't see the ketchup, because it was red. <laughs> ha, it's strange. In a black and white photo, those letters would have appeared black to me. I wonder, why am I the only one that can't see them? So then, Mr. Godot, are you admitting it? Are you admitting that you couldn't see the red writing on the lantern? Hey, Gramps. Didn't you know? That's the reason why I don't d drink red tea! Boo. Lame line. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Trying to even think which tea is red. Anyway, <sighs> I wasn't sure about it until now, but I just can't believe it. Prosecutor Godot is the murderer. That's so unbelievable. <laughs> it's an asshole. But there's no going back now. I finally figured out the truth. Mr. Godot, the defense at this time formally accuses you. You are the murderer of Miss Elise Donum, also known as Miss Fay. It's hard to believe this may be true, however... Once again, Mr. Wright has brought up a disquieting fact about you. Hmm. 
Just make sure you don't fill out the indictment in red ink, Gramps. Come on. How does a little graffiti make me into the killer? <laughs> it's not just a little graffiti, bro! Jesus! Besides, it's not like it's my name that's written there. Bro, Which name so would that be? <laughs> I'm certain that the killer wasn't able to see the color red. This is rich. Do go on, Trite. The answer is right there at the crime scene. In the snow. The snow? How so? Well, for example, why did the killer move all of that snow? Your Honor, you said it yourself. If they wanted to hide the bloody snow, why not just take out just that area? Yes, why didn't they take just that area? Ah, uh, could it be? Yes, the killer couldn't see the red blood that had seeped into the snow. And so, he had to remove all of the snow. He couldn't be sure of where the blood had landed, so he removed the whole area. Isn't it more likely that the killer couldn't see the blood because it was dark? Not a chance. The torches were all lit. They would have been able to see fine. It seems... ...that once again this trial has taken an unexpected turn, to say the least. Can you, Can expl you explain this, Miss- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's in one overtime, I was like, ah. It's fine. <laughs> He's talking to himself. <laughs> Godot just starts fucking mimicking the judge at the same time to mock him. Can you explain this, Mr. Godot? Can you explain this, Mr. Godot? <laughs> <laughs> wait! Just a- wait a minute! No, Maya, go fucking take a nap. <laughs> What is it, witness? Mr. Godot, isn't the killer? After all, he didn't even come to the inner temple. Why the fuck you lying? Until two days after the murder took place. He didn't show up until after that old bridge got fixed up. Objection! Maya. You can't testify to something like that. Why? What do you mean? I mean, I look at the- Eee! After the murder happened, you didn't even exist. She didn't? I'm afraid I don't follow. Are you see now, old man? We established this just a little while ago. After the murder, this witness was unconscious for a long time. Because she was channeling Dahlia Hawthorne. Oh, that's right. Please, your honor, let me add to my testimony. Nick, please listen to me. I, uh... Do you plan to cover for Godot, no matter what the cost? If that's the case, then I've got no choice. Your Honor, let's hear her testimony. Fee, dumbass. 
If it means we're going to hear the whole truth, I say we should not silence her. Huh. <laughs> Nicely done, Trite. Very well. Let's hear the witness's testimony. Please tell us what happened at the inner temple after the murder. Yes, sir. After I woke up, I began channeling, and my spirit left me as it was. But that little girl was there at the inner temple, too. And with that, we wind this episode right here. Thank you folks for joining us, and see you next time. You're kidding me.